Babies make you happy. They're such special little friends. Almost done with chores. Yep, just wrapping it up. Okay, well, hurry up because we gotta go in and eat because we got somewhere to be. Okay, I've got the playpen, I've got puppy pads. Can you bring a small piece of hay in the house when you come in? Okay. And just like one cup of grain? Okay. Thanks. All right, I think we are almost ready. We're gonna eat our dinner and then we're gonna go and get something new. All right, we are all set up and ready. Just gotta go pick a couple of things up. Got some baby bottles. Hey, you guys, you gotta share. Oh, hi. Hi, are you my baby? No, you're not my baby. All right, the sheep have run out of food and now they're staring at us like we are the food. They wanna get past us, not yet. Ooh, that ram almost got ya. Now, you got a new mommy though. Ah! Okay, girls, we only have a four minute drive home. Yeah, then you get to snuggle with the boys. Sweet babies. They have such different personalities. This one's like real alert and scared, kind of. And this one's like chill. <laughs> no names yet. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. What do you think, Ryan? I think they're awesome. Mm, kissing me. What do you got there, Liam and Odin and Rowan? We got a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> you love that baby. <laughs> you want the other one too? <laughs> Rowan, who's that you got? Um, a lamb? Yeah. Got any ideas for names yet? Oreo? No, that's too common. You, you need to, I don't know, I love how the markings on this one's face are like a skull. But I also love that the nose is like a heart. So cute. That one needs milk. Yeah. You think that one, Daddy's getting that one a bottle ready right now. Aww. Yeah. Oh, they're a little bit stressed out being in a new place and no mommy and no flock to comfort them, but they are starting to calm down. You can see the little white ones breathing heavier. Hey. Yeah. Ah. But they're coming down and settling down really nicely. Tomorrow will be a lot easier. First night's always the hardest. house last night because they're too little and it's too soon it's too soon been working on transitioning them to a bottle so they're doing good they're only taking like an ounce at a time so i have to keep giving it to them and they're getting better and better every time but they'll be soon they'll be drinking this bottle in five seconds flat they didn't keep me up too much in the night. Uh, I waited to see if I heard them rather than wake them up and try to bottle them. And I thought maybe it would be good if they got a little bit hungrier before the morning feeding. And they did pretty good. That was probably four ounces. Oh, actually I refilled this, so yeah. I didn't refill it all the way, but I they drank about three ounces and I filled it back up again. So they probably drank a good eight ounces, maybe close to it. So that's good. And I let them 
smell the food and put some pellets in their mouth and chew on them. They spit them right, right back out, but it's good practice for them. So I'm gonna get me a cup of coffee and finish waking up myself. Hey, I might just have to have a baby lamb in my lap while I drink my coffee. You guys are gonna get so tired of me with my baby voice. Does that taste good? Are you eating some hay? Oh, you can go sleep now. Got full belly. Mm, go back to sleep. Eat and sleep, eat and sleep. You babies are precious. Best I, worms ever. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Liam got up and they wanted to be with him. So we had to snack on them. <laughs> you like that? You like that little lamb? What do you see, Odin? You see the baby lambs? Oh, you got your lamb. You got your lammy. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, what? I didn't set that kennel up for you guys. What are you doing? Sitting. You want me to go get the baby lambs? Yeah. And they can come in there with you? Yeah. They're scared. <laughs> Guys, stay away from stay away from them for a minute. Let them get adjusted to being outside. They've never been outside before. This is a first for them. Let's take it slow. Okay, babies. I just wanted you to get some fresh air and exercise. <laughs> you like those babies? They did really good. They had a couple of ounces from the bottle last night and then a couple more ounces from their early morning bottle and then their late morning bottle, they drank a bunch. I am feeling really confident that these guys are gonna transition to the bottle with no issues and that they're gonna be some really incredible additions to our homestead. <gasps> what? Now I'm in the cage. I'm gonna sit with the babies for a little bit, okay? Go play. Kitty's checking them out. What do you think, Mitzi? They're different than goats a little bit, but kind of the same. I don't think these guys are going to get much exercise because it's actually kind of cold. It wasn't cold when I came out here to check the temperature, but the wind is cold. And so they already started shivering and they've only been out here for five minutes as I get set up for this. So I'm just gonna talk real quick. I figured I know most of the questions are gonna be about what are the purpose of these new additions to our homestead. So for us, we are um, really knowledgeable about sheep and small ruminants in general. Ryan worked at a sheep farm for four years that made award-winning sheep cheese. And I have worked worked with sheep and got my small ruminant production certification with uh which covers goats and sheep so over the last couple of years ryan has really wanted some sheep to add to our homestead and i've kind of been like eh, sheep are kind of standoffish they don't have as much personality as goats and blah 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 can you be quiet so I can talk? And he really wanted them. And I have a friend that I met when we moved here to Carrollton who is got a farm that's four minutes from our door. So she raises Katahdin sheep. They are a hare sheep. They are not a wool sheep. They 
are used mainly for meat, but they can also be used for milk. And so that's where Ryan convinced me. He wants me to make some sheep milk cheese. So I'm gonna have to do that. Sheep milk has a higher fat content than goat milk. And it is very sweet and creamy. It's delicious to drink, but it's almost too rich as a drink. So it's used in cheese making. Oh, with great success. Go ahead. You wanna get up too? Go ahead. Oh, stay here. Don't knock over the camera or open the door behind me. <laughs> so anyway, I have, I have uh, agreed, obviously, that we will raise two ewes. Uh, we'll raise them up to breeding age and we will breed them to a ram that our friend is going to be getting soon so they won't be related. And the offspring from that will probably be used for meat purposes. These two will not be meat, they will be for milk. So we are allowing ourselves to get super attached and bonded to them and they will be spoiled rotten. The next week here in Georgia, our temperatures are actually going below 20 at night. So I don't have any plans on putting them out at night, but I probably will set this kennel up that we're sitting in now inside the screen porch. I just have to move a table and chair out into the yard <laughs> and then I can set up a corner for them. So that's our plan. Now, as you guys know, plans can change. They don't always stay the same. So things might evolve and be different than what I'm stating now, but that's what we're hoping is going to work for our family and our homestead and these two beautiful new additions. So if you have any name suggestions, we've kind of thrown out a couple around with the family and we're still, there's a couple of names that we kind of like. Um, the boys have said, for the brown one, they've said brownie, they've said chocolate, they've muffin. They, they keep coming up with brown names, you know? And then for the white one, they keep coming up with food names too. Oreo, cookie, cookies and cream. But I have, I have a name that I like, but I don't know if it's gonna stick. We'll see, we're gonna test it out. Betty White. Don't you think that's perfect? I love that she has like skull markings on her face. Uh, I think it's super cute. And I tried to figure out a name that would that I could use. Like I thought maybe sugar for sugar skull because you know, looks kind of like a sugar skull. But I haven't really decided. Betty White, sugar, uh, Ryan said Dawn and Meadow this morning. And I like Meadow, but Dawn, eh. And then um, for the brown one, this morning when I was sitting down with my coffee, I was like, you're like the same color as my coffee. And then I thought, ooh, like coffee milk. And I thought, oh, coffee milk would be a cute name. So Betty White and coffee milk, eh. Not too sure that that's what I like, but coffee and sugar sounds funny together. I don't know, we'll see. But I would love any suggestions from you guys. We thought about like pairing names like Thelma and Louise, but nothing really stuck as a good idea for us. So I would love any suggestions you have. Leave it down in the comments and let us know if you have sheep and if you've ever milked a sheep before because I'd really be curious to hear. Ryan has milked 200 sheep in one day for five days a week for four years. So he knows what he's doing. But I definitely would love to hear any tips and hints from you guys. What are you doing? You trying to get in here? You like those sheep? Aww. <laughs> They're a little bit skittish. They are a little bit skittish because they haven't really been handled by people, but it, they are already getting friendlier. So I think within no time, these boys will have some pets that are gonna come running up to them for scratches. You're gonna sit with the sheep. Odin, you're such a good, you're such a good herdsman. Gonna sit down with them and let them come to you. Yeah. This little girl's the friendlier, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this sweet baby. 
I like that sweet baby. They're not shivering as much now. Maybe we can stay out here for a little bit of fresh air. What is it? We know where the eggs are, but the cow is there. Oh, they're laying in the cow shelter? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Not in it, at it. Yeah, where the hay is. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll be able to get it later. Hopefully, we'll find some. Okay. Thank you for checking when you heard that egg sound. Okay. What are you guys doing? You looking at Rowan and Liam? You like those big boys better than this little crazy boy, huh? You look like you want to go chase them already. Yeah, you sweet. You're a little, you're a little timid, but sweet too. Yes. Nice brave bridge. Hey, baby. This one keeps on jumping up on me. She's so sweet. What are you doing? Oh, you want to play? All that playing and now they've tuckered out. And they're not shivering, yay. This is perfect. These babies are really adjusting nice. They are playing and doing well. I mean, last night when we put, put them down in the playpen, if anybody would go up to pet them, they would jump back really scared and skittish. And as of this morning, they're coming up to the edge of the playpen to get petted on. <laughs> they're talking to my goats. Which one of my goats is talking? Oh my gosh, that's funny. Who is my most maternal goat? Let's see if we can guess who it might be. Oh, that kind of sounds like Rosemary. Or maybe, truly, one of the alpines almost. Oh, let's see. Who is it? Who is it? It's truly the alpine. What? That's not your baby. Your baby's fine. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny because I've really had baby fever. And now it's like, I feel like a huge amount of joy and happiness having babies. And it's just like, babies make you happy. They're such special little things. One little lamb wants to get out. You want out, little lamb? You want out? <laughs> Where's your other boot? Always. Flipping them boots off. Those babies like playing with you. It is amazing how much easier it is to get a lamb on a bottle than it is to get a goat kid. These babies are two weeks old and they had their first bottle last night. And they're like pros now. He was hungry. Don't worry. You're going to get some too. <laughs> she drank almost all eight ounces. I was going to split it four ounces for each. But <laughs> I'm probably going to have to refill this bottle. <laughs> Ryan, what are you doing? Feeding babies. <laughs> <laughs> Bonding. They're fun, huh? They are. They're adorable. Got any name suggestions? Thinking on some. Like what? I like Betty White for for this one. Wait. And then this one, not so sure. I was tossing around coffee, <laughs> meadow, maple. Just nothing's quite sticking yet, but we'll get there. Oh. I think I think she's done. <laughs> You're just bonding. Yep. All right. So getting this kennel ready for the porch. Put the lambs in here. Um, 
I did most of the work, called in the inspector, uh, got the hen. The hen comes, uh, they, they come in usually, they check it out, they do uh, sort of like a home inspection, make sure everything's up to code. Um, she's not alerting me to anything uh, serious to be concerned about, so I think I think we're good. I think I can bring the lambs in now. What do you think? Yep, everything's good. You ready? <gasps> Tandem nursing! I've always wanted to do that. Look at you two, like bros. Why are lambs so much easier than goats? They're gonna drink a full eight ounces tonight. I am so impressed with you two. Yeah. What good babies. Oh my gosh. You might get a whole flock of sheep at this point. Yeah, if they stay this cute. If they stayed this cute, that would be cute. Your sister's got to stay this cute. Come on. Okay.